Hello, so for the Scottish collections I'm looking at um, the men of the house again and uh, I'm, I have worked on memorizing it so we'll see how that goes. Um, it's uh, yeah I I have given up on just remem re just uh, relying on my memory of this and I have really uh, allowed myself to look at the sheet music in order to memorize it. And um, I listened to uh, Julie Lieberman, Julie, I hope that's her first name. Uh, her presentation on fiddle hell was five ways how to memorize the tune so that you never forget and um, she uh, recommended a combination of practices that I've also uh, some of them I've heard uh, from Molly Debrian actually a violist who was interviewed on the Bulletproof Musician podcast some months ago, or maybe even a year by now. By now. Um, so the idea is basically to use different uh, senses and different modes uh, for memorizing, for example, uh, by listening so have the melody in the ear and then play it as one hears it. The second is looking at the sheet music and perhaps also have the sheet music in front of the inner ear. And then uh, the third one was um, more like a tactile uh, memory to remember which fingers and which strings and yeah uh, the method to do it is uh, just to play open strings and uh, not involve the fingers so this is one can see this as an active strategy of practicing it or as a test how well the um, memor memory is already established. And then the fourth one is um, analysis, uh, like look at the sheet music or do it from, uh, from listening and see what kind of structure and pattern there are recognizable and that's one that comes <laughs> more natural to me so I did that and also the tactile thing yeah listening and looking at the sheet music and the last one I have not actually tried with this one but that is you play and then you stop playing but continue to hear how it goes in your mind and then um, uh, continue playing. So this on-off mode that uh, lets one get back into the stream, so to speak, <laughs> if I'm <laughs> got <laughs> thrown out of it. Okay, so um, from the analysis point of view, it's um, uh, always in pairs of two measures beat of um, four, 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 and um, it has an A part um, of four measures, yes, and that's repeated exactly, and then the B part is uh, four measures in one system, and then the second um, tail of this is uh, similar but uh, there's some modification. Modification is mostly 
Um, in the beginning, at least, uh, putting an additional eighth note, so fourth notes, uh, quarter notes are kind of uh, divided with an interim eighth note. That's for the first two measures, and then it goes on differently. But also, for the last part, I discovered that each of the four segments uh, has uh, this figure. And then the first time it's second um, uh, measure of this group of two measures, but right at the beginning. So after this highest note, then it comes. Okay, good. So that covers the second part, the B part, which is also more difficult to remember, I think. So I'll do that first. Yeah, that was another uh, practice strategy or tests how well a tune is memorized, uh, starting it with the B part.
got to recognize this repeating thing in this rhythmic context. So this comes earlier than I thought. Here already. exactly mapped out, although I think I played that correctly now. Anybody noticed that I was clearer, but um, I was following the script in my mind.
kind of a relief to me that Julie said um, this is work so <laughs> it's not I mean maybe there are people who are able to do it but it's not expected that you can be taught the tune with however many uh, repetitions and breaking it up into little sub phrases and so on and then you remember it and you have it forever so <laughs> at least um, she doesn't expect us to do it and so I don't feel less <laughs> incompetent now <laughs> okay good so I'll see how much of that I can still remember or when I get up tomorrow or before I get up or before I go to sleep I will see how much I can remember that away from the instrument. Okay, good. Talk to you soon and bye for now.